How you doing, everybody? It's Bones. We're back here in the Alternative Energies Lab again. Um, new top. Get everything pre-drilled. Drilled myself my three-quarter inch hole. Tapped it. Got my my exhaust port tapped out. I got my relief valve slash autofill valve drilled out. This time, I'm going with a quarter inch male pipe thread with a 3 8 inch barb I don't want any restrictions in this cell so I went with I decided to go with a bigger output for my barb here's another one of those PVC valves from AutoZone I took the two back actually I took one back because that's the only one that was leaking took it back and they assured me that it was just a defective valve and uh, bought a new one Brought it home, had it on the van for three or four days, and it worked okay. So, uh, still, I would not go out and buy them because of the expense of them. I will find some check valves somewhere and get them. Then we got our spring-loaded safety valve. Just simple, just a little cork in the bottom of it. Spring-loaded valve. If you, uh, if you want to know how to build this, I'm not... I'm not here to give away anybody's ideas or anything. This is actually uh, an idea that I got from the install guys. So if you want to jump over to their uh, YouTube page and check them out, uh, they have these uh, in, on there. They'll have a link to their website in case you want to buy them, uh, or you know if you want to try and figure out how to build one your own. But uh, I'd rather not put a video on, on up how to make them. It wasn't my design. I just kind of copied it from somebody else. Uh, so again, that's the install guys. Uh, they have a YouTube page as well, so go ahead and check them out. They got some pretty good uh, ideas on there. They're pretty safety conscious, uh, and I think that has a lot to say for the for the character. So, but this is the top. It's ready to assemble. I'll just go ahead and obviously Teflon tape everything before I put it in. Uh, I'll hang the new cell off of it. Well, not the new cell, but the re the uh, revised cell. I'll hang that off the bottom. I went ahead and put some bigger washers underneath here. I hopefully won't need them as long as I keep all my connections tight. They should stay okay. But I'm just trying to get a bigger footprint in there. So pretty much that's what as it, she looks like when she's assembled. She's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and Teflon tape everything here. Uh, I'm going to work on a suppressor that I'm going to hang on the side of the cell. So this way I can uh, locate the, uh, the bubbler away from the cell. I don't have to have it right on the cell. So I'll just go ahead and build myself a little uh, suppressor off the side of it. It's going to look similar to um, the smack unit, something like he has on there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see how it works out, and uh, we'll go from there. So just wanted to let you guys see what the top looks like. Pretty excited to get this back together with the uh, modifications we did to the cell. I think, uh, I think we... Uh, if, if it works the way I, I, I intended to work, the way I tested it last night, and it worked, I'll go ahead and uh, show you what I did and the reason for why I did it. And I, I think uh, if, it works, if it continues to work the way that it worked last night, it's, it's a really big hurdle for us that we've got over. Um, but more about that later. Uh, I just wanted to show you the top. That's it. I'm out. See you on the next one.